Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today's video, what I want to do is upload the weekly weigh-in for week two, January 2023 week two so you guys know i'm currently on my 100 pound weight loss journey and i need to share with you guys the weigh in from second week of january and then what will happen is um on wednesday you guys will get the upload for this week that we're currently in i apologize for running behind but i had no idea that when i got back to work like work would be working the way that it was this past week so i apologize for that um again it's saturday morning so today my plan is to go and i just need to walk like this this week was really tough for me and something happened this week too um at work i don't know about you guys like it's not like a horrible thing but i think one of the things that bother me the most in life is like when i'm misunderstood i think um you no know, i don't know if anyone else is like this but like from my heart like all of my intentions are like good like i would never want to hurt another person or hurt someone's feelings or say things like without thought and i think one of the things that hurts me the most is like if when i say something and like if it's misunderstood and it hurts hurts the other person or hurts someone else anyways i just want to go walk today because walking is just really good for me helps relieve a lot of stress and it also helps me to process my thoughts and for my thoughts to land so that perhaps next week i'll be able to handle this situation a little bit better so but before i go i'm currently drinking coffee out of my daughter's cup but in the inside I actually one of our cousins bought this for her in the inside it says be strong and courageous for the lord your god will be with you wherever you go joshua 1 9 and i just needed a little of that in my life today um so yeah so i need to make breakfast i don't have to but i want to my husband and the boys are currently sleeping so i want to make breakfast for them before i go and just leave it out so that no one calls me <laughs> while I'm out but when I come back I actually have two patients I need to see today so I want to be able to just jump into my day so let's make breakfast for them first and then we'll head out go for an eight mile walk and then we'll do this week's weigh-in <music> And then breakfast is ready. So this is what I'm leaving for the kids. I don't know if you guys have boys, but you know, they just, they, they forget. They forget. And just a reminder to leave stuff for dad. And then also that when I come back, I can't wait to see the clean room, clean clothes and face. I will say that they're pretty good about doing their chores without me having to remind them. But I just don't want to set myself up for disappointment and come back and it's not done. And then, you know. Oh, also, I have a to-do list for when I go on my walk. It's right here. So here is my weekly planner. You guys, our car insurance, look at this price. This is for six months. This is if we pay in full, and this is if we do payment. So I've been trying to like reshop this. I called a local place. We've been with Progressive for like over 10 years. Like we're at the Emerald level. I called a local place where we have like some homeowners insurance, whatever. So I'm hoping that on Monday they call me back with a better rate. And then this week has been so pricey. Like our daughter, she had, she needed new tires, two new tires, brakes, rotors on her car. It's just been a very pricey week. And then, but anyways, what I was gonna say, he, I'm taking this with me because I need to call one of my sisters for her birthday today. And then call one of my other sisters to like give her updates about my mom's birthday party in August, which I've already planned, but I just need to give her some details on it. And then I need to call my mom because I haven't talked to her this week. Well, maybe like one day this week, which is not the usual. And I just need to grab some chapstick and then my shoes and I'm ready to go. Now, oh, also you guys, oh my gosh. So I've also decided that since those two patients are at um, an ALF, assisted living facility, instead of seeing them this morning, I'll just see them like after their lunch. Cause that will help me out because today my eating window does not open until, I wanna say like after three o'clock because I ate late last night. 
yeah my window doesn't open until 3 30 today so if i go for my walk and then come back and do some stuff here at the house and then go see my patients like that'll keep me busy so that i don't think about having to eat i don't know what happened last night guys <laughs> i don't know i think but today's a new day time to get back on track all right so let me go for my walk and then i'll come back and share with you guys about what happened during week two okay guys so i'm currently like 8.15 miles out i went too far out <laughs> So now I'm just trying to make my way back home. I went too far, but I feel good though. I talked to my sister for her birthday. Um, we chatted for like an hour and 40 minutes maybe. And then I also talked to my mom, but I didn't get a chance to talk to my other sister because my mom went to her house and I guess I don't really want to have the conversation about my mom's birthday in front of my mom. I'll catch up with her later. 8.25 miles, two hours, 50 minutes. Somebody's waiting for me. Also got a package. Okay guys, so I just got home and I just changed my pants and put on some shorts. So before I take my shower, I thought it would be good to go ahead and like, let's talk about um, a little bit about what happened last week and how last week went. So this is from the 9th through the 15th. And if you guys remember from last week's video, the week before, I weighed in at 219.6. A couple things, like I've been adding in more strength training. And one of the things that I was concerned about was whether or not if I would be able to like lift weights and continue to lose weight. Like that was a big concern of mine. So last week I struggled a little bit like with my food somewhat but not a lot not as much as this week which we'll talk about in wednesday's video um but i wanted to share with you guys i have my planner here okay so i lifted on sunday the following morning i was up 222.0 and my thing says i didn't get any steps in but i was off from work that monday so i know i got steps in but i didn't wear my watch all day okay so that tuesday i was up to 22.6 again i forgot to wear my watch so it looks like i didn't get all of my steps in and then here oh and also you can see my fasting so i fasted 16 hours here 16 hours here here 19 hours fasted 11,748 steps. Again, I was off, so I wasn't tracking as well as I should have. This is a day that I did the 10 miles, so 27,133 steps, 17 hour, 46 minute fast, um, 18 hours. So I did fast appropriately the entire time, okay? And this day, this day, and this day, these are the days I was at the conference. Like I did a lot of sitting. I was not very active. You can see the steps here. Okay, so last week I weighed in at 219.6. This week I weighed in at 218.2. So I'm really happy about that because one of my concerns was like being able to lift and not gain weight. However, I do wanna add that for this week, like I'm sharing with you guys from January 9th through the 15th, but for this week, I have not weighed myself every day because in full transparency, I still struggle with seeing the numbers go up. So like for instance, that Sunday after I lifted and to wake up that Monday and I was 222.0 and I still was eating right. Like the only thing I had was, um, like those fries or whatever. But then the next day to go back up to like 222.6. Like, so I actually, you can even see here like where I stopped weighing myself every day because to see the numbers just was not good for me. Um, and then I ended the week at 218.2. So I'm really happy with that. I think that I am definitely going back to just kind of like weighing myself at the beginning of the week and then weighing myself at the end of the week and just kind of ignore the um, fluctuations on a day-to-day basis. And even when I went to the conference, I packed my lunch. Actually, I think I filmed that. So I'll insert some of that here for you guys. Friday the 13th. So I just recently arrived here in Boca Raton, Florida for the first conference of the year. Um, this one is the Symposium for Metabolic Health. I'm so excited. I'm like so excited to learn more. I feel like when it comes to like the weight loss portion, I've definitely kind of like gone through and like dealt with like a lot of the, um, like the mindset 
behind weight loss and all of that and I feel like I've made a lot of progress because up to this point you know I've lost like a little over 40 pounds on this 100 pound weight loss journey but today I am just really excited I love science like I'm such a nerd and then also at 7 30 there is a low carb dinner tonight which is included ticket price but you guys know 7 30 is kind of late for me so as far as dinner is concerned so I'll show you guys what I brought um I'll be here Saturday and Sunday all day like there are courses all day and don't worry like I have on a cute little jumpsuit but I have my blazer so I can be a little bit more professional you know oh but I'm so nervous and I'm so excited <sighs> okay let me show you what I brought for food okay so here is my little lunch bag so these are chicken wings i know i cook these in the air fryer um this is for like two days though okay and then i have some pepperoni just to snack on um in my eating window if i feel the need and then i have four apples there's four i don't know if you can let's see can you see that there's four apples in there and then i also have some salmon brussels sprouts and there's also broccoli in there. So salmon, Brussels sprouts, and broccoli. And I have two containers, one for each day. I did pack my food, so I had food for Friday and Saturday. But Saturday night, I was kind of hungry, so I actually had, from the bar, I ordered two salads, a shrimp, mango, and something salad, because I felt like I needed a lot of greens, and also a salmon and something type salad and i actually ate like both of those salads because i felt like i needed the protein and the greens so okay i also don't know what i will be wearing for 2023 to track like progress as far as body shots go but i will show you guys a quick body shot i almost feel like it's not fair because it's not in the same it's not within the same week but let's just do a quick body shot I will share with you guys that I bought a swimsuit, which you'll see in next week's video, the one that I'll upload on Wednesday. I bought a swimsuit that is too small for me, and it's been a long time since I've actually bought clothes that were too small because I never really like to do that whole like trying to work into getting into this thing. But for this year, I feel like I'm in a better mindset to where I can do that. So I'll be sure to share that with you guys in next week's video. And later today, I will actually be sitting down and going through and doing some meal planning because you'll see in the next weigh in video, there's some things with my food that when it comes to my food, I don't like, I don't enjoy counting calories. I don't enjoy counting macros and all of that but i'm kind of at a point to where it's like i say i want one thing and i think just until i can get back until i can figure out what works for me i need to track and i need to count for a little bit so i will be doing a meal planning video i'll do a grocery haul video and also a meal prep video so you guys will get all of those videos coming up and i think i finally figured out a better filming schedule for work so that kind of like works around my full-time job so I just want to be more consistent here on the channel I want to share more with you guys but last week with work I just came back and I was like whoa <laughs> like my brain was on overload yeah I think that's gonna be it for this video I actually want to see if I can go ahead and edit and upload this video before I head to work today so as always please don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video bye guys